Hmm, Simon says this is a good episode. Yeah, I went there. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for Simon Said, the fifth episode of Supernatural Season 2. And this is an episode that further expands on Yellow Eye's plan, further establishes that there are other psychic, are gifted children like Sam, and it has a Star Wars joke. This episode, majority of it anyways, is shot in Ladner, the same place where they shot the first three episodes of season 15. It's crazy to see how much more trees there were back then. This episode has a lot of good moments in it, from the Gallagher character to his evil twin brother. They touch on a little bit of the same elements that were in the Nightmare episode from season one, if I'm correct, with the kid kind of going rogue and killing his parents. Same thing happens with evil Andy here in this episode. Evil looking Elijah Wood wants his bro him and his brother to be together and he kills off their original birth mother, their doctor, who's wearing the really weird shaggy pants. Sam is having those premonitions of it. When they meet Andy, he's actually a pretty funny guy. And actually, there's some pretty good humor written this episode, mainly because it's written by Ben Endelin. It starts off with Ash opening up the door in that really weird situation. He's like, ah, Sam and Dean. I guess I need pants. Further on, where they meet Andy and he's able to Jedi mind trick Dean into giving him the Impala, all the while, though, there is some pretty deep-handed stuff in this episode with Dean kind of giving up a little bit of his inner thoughts, his inner fears to Andy and Sam about just the situation that he's in with his brother. And later on, when the episode ends, they find out that there are other children like them. It deepens the threat as well as kind of broadens the whole scope of their plan. No longer is there just a few. There could be hundreds. In the end, there, we know there isn't any, at least any more, but the scale, the scope of the thing was so huge. I remember sitting there going, whoa, I can't believe this boy people like Sam. That was my impression of 16-year-old me. I like Simon Said. I enjoy the characters of it. Admittedly, the whole plan of evil Elijah Wood is kind of bizarre. It is a very strange plan. Even Andy asks him, yo, man, this is not how you find your old twin, your long lost twin. That's probably the weakest part of the whole episode. I did like the idea that Andy had to kill his own brother, the only family that he's ever known his entire life, like real actual blood family. However, they don't really go into that as much. They don't establish as much about that as they could have because that, that's a pretty significant thing to have happen in your life. He's trying to do it to save Dean, even though somehow evil Elijah Wood's able to hear him cock a sniper rifle on the top of a hill. I don't know, that part was a little weird too. Either way though, Simon Said is a good episode. It really broadened the scope of the show, of the season, and it really put you into a whoa, what's gonna happen next sort of mentality. So in the end, I'm gonna give Simon Said a 5 out of 7. It's a solid episode. Its villain aspect's a little weak and a little bit much to try and believe, but either way, it's still a fun time. Anyways, now let's take a look at your guys' comments for this episode. All right, starting off with Sarah Zen Texas. I too love Simon Said. Gabriel Tigerman is so good as Andy. He anchors the episode. One thing that has bothered me forever is the way fans think his evil brother's name is Anson. It's Anson, like Anson Williams on Happy Days, which nobody remembers because I'm old, but the dam is a great location for the end, and for someone who has a fear of heights, it's terrifying. The dam actually is just outside of Mission. I've been there several times, and it is a pretty good uh, height there. Next one here is from Tom. I really like Simon Said. It was a good mix of supernatural myth, arc, humor, and horror. Ben Edlin is one of the best writers of the show ever had. The scene at the dam was a little telenovela, but hopefully the episode still holds up. R.I.P. Roadhouse. Well, they haven't blown up the Roadhouse yet, but yeah, no, good points. Next one here is from Karen. I love the first half of Simon Said. Andy is an awesome character, and I laugh every time I see him talk Dean into giving him baby. And again, using his mind control so Dean tells him everything, no matter how hard it is for him to try and stay quiet. Less excited about the evil twin storyline. I would have preferred the story just to be about Andy. Yeah, I agree with you there. And then the last one here from Joel Malia. Simon Said is a really good for world building by introducing two psychics that resonate with Sam because they he thinks that he's like could be like one of them in the future. While Dean gets more worried about having to actually kill Sam and what Andy and his brother can do on a daily basis. The evil brother is the more forgettable part of the episode. But other than that, Simon Said is one of the better and more memorable episodes 
episodes of season two. And he is cool, but it's wasted later in the season two part finale. I do admit his end of his story is kind of unfortunate because he was such a great character, but in the sense of things, in terms of skills and powers and whatnot, he wasn't going to survive. Next episode is No Exit. This is when Joe goes on a hunt with the brothers and they she gets stuck in the wall. I remember that. Anyways, give me your guys' thoughts and comments about that in the comments below and I'll read off the best ones for the next episode review. Anyways, guys, that's all from me. Hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, leave a like and if you're interested in more, maybe subscribe. Otherwise, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say The Click is finally getting back together in an all new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.